Okay. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Shay's Hoppy Dog Bay again. This is another cooking video, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm fixing to cook a pot of cabbage soup. So, again, it's another video I've seen. I was bending down looking, checking to make sure my video was going. Um, but of course I always, um, uh, alter it for me, or however you want to say it. I don't add things they put in it that I don't like, and I possibly add other things that I have and want to put in there that they didn't add to it. So... I'm at the stove, the pot and spoons in the pot, and pot's on the stove, spoons in the pot. I'm adding the water to it. This is eight cups of water. That cup that I'm using, measuring cup, is two cups. So I put enough for eight cups of water. Cutting the eye on. Okay, now like always before because no one has helped me with this yet and i'm still hoping someone will y'all are still going to hear the background noises i just i do not know how to cut that off when i do my voiceover so that you only hear me talking the voiceover talking and explaining what i'm doing you still hear the background noises so here i'm getting beef bouillon cubes and because the jar says the lady didn't she put like she poured some liquid broth in her cabbage soup the video that i watched but i don't have that so i have bouillon cubes so that's what i use and she didn't put near as much as i did but because i'm using the cubes and the jar says to uh you know a cup a cube and I had eight cups of water, so I did eight cubes of bouillon cubes. I don't know if y'all think that's too much. That's what I did, and I loved it. It was good. But, be warned. Because of the sound thing. So, right there, I'm opening all the cubes and putting them in. Because of the sound thing. <laughs> yes, what I'm famous for. Getting aggravated at things and about things and fussing and grumbling about it. So be warned, you will hear me grumble about that very thing. So, just maybe you can have a good laugh about it. Because <laughs> uh, I was trying, I want to, when I make these, I don't want to talk to y'all about it at the time. Because usually a family member's at home. And yeah, Elizabeth was at home. And, by the way, she was sitting right there at the table, right outside the kitchen door there. Because she was making some Christmas tree ornaments for her Christmas tree. And, so she was right there, and she knew I was making a video, but I didn't want to talk on video since she was there. And I just wanted to do this voiceover. But, like I said, I don't know how to get it to cut that sound out of there. And, uh... So things happen and come up that will make noises or that I will have to, I don't know, that I have to talk and say, Elizabeth don't talk when she knows I've got a video going, but if Albert's home, he does. And So just different things happen, you know, and come up, but then I think about it and know it's going to get on there and that aggravates me, so I started grumbling about it. <laughs> okay, I'm putting some salt in there. <clears throat> I try to make myself do a little bit more salt than what I normally do. That was definitely a lot more than what I do right there. Look at the pot sliding down on the eye. <laughs> and I was trying to move it back over Rats. and I sloshed it out. <clears throat> so now I'm putting some pepper in. And then, that was quite a lot of pepper, too. <laughs> I'm getting bold, aren't I? <laughs> and then some Creole seasoning. That's the seasonings that we 
Ooh, that's a lot of that stuff, too. Wow, am I getting bold. <laughs> I normally don't put that much. <coughs> I'm sorry, I've got a cough, so. I'm going to get me a cough drop here. So now I had a half bag of baby carrots, so I'm putting them all in there. Trying to do it without sloshing the water out on me. And then I had some sausage left over. So I got that. So see the, these carrots and the sausage, I don't think that lady put in her cabbage soup. But I had these and wanted to use them before they got bad. And I thought a cabbage soup would be nice to put them in. You know, I think it goes along with it. And the sausage, you know, that would give you some meat in your meal, too, to have instead of it just being whoa, vegetables. Whoa. I take forever, no matter what I'm doing. I was probably washing my hands and drying them and then trying to find a knife to cut the sausage with. And, and I just take so slow about anything I do. So I'm showing you the sausage, and I'm going to cut it up in there. Well, I do. I turn it off, but it don't help. It still makes noise. Whatever. I'm not a fast cutter either. When it comes to knives, I try my best to be careful because I wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't rip my hand wide open with one. I can't do like all these people that do all this fast, fast chopping of things and using knives fast and everything. So, so I had my eye on and my soup was heating up as I was adding all this to it. It was good. I still have a little bit left and I can heat it up and eat me some. Elizabeth even ate a bowl and said she liked it. She added more salt to it, of course, but she said she liked it. Now, hubby, <laughs> nope, he ain't even gonna try it. He's like a kid. He's ticky. He don't want to try new things. Now, he likes cabbage, but he likes raw cabbage. That's how he does his coleslaw. He'll just chop it up into coleslaw strips and then he covers it in Italian dressing and I can't stand Italian dressing. I'd rather have ranch or honey mustard. Um, but that's the only way he'll eat cabbage. He won't eat it cooked and he likes raw carrots. He don't like to cook the carrots. So there's no way he was going to try that. <laughs> I think I'm washing the cabbage now. I showed it to y'all in the bowl, and I had actually forgot to wash it, so I went back to the sink to wash it. Then I bring it back to show y'all I had washed it. And I left the water in it. Now, instead of putting those big hunks the way it was cut up in there, I like to pinch mine up into small pieces. It helps me to eat it better with me not having any teeth. So. I took my time and I stood there and I pinched all of that cabbage up into the pot. So it was water, 
eight cups of water, eight bouillon, beef bouillon cubes, and um, the seasonings I put, salt, pepper, and creole seasoning, the baby carrots, the sausage, and now the cabbage. And that's all I put in it. And that was a whole head of cabbage. I think after it came to a boil, I let it boil for about maybe 30 minutes. Maybe a little over. I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Yeah, I always make a mess and things have to fall on the floor. <laughs> And some of the real hard white pieces that kind of was more the middle of the the core of the cabbage, I chunked them in the garbage because even with them being boiled, I wouldn't have been able to have ate them. That was one right there I'd throw it away. Other people might have would have went ahead and put that in there and cooked it and would have been able to eat it because they have teeth, but I can't. And if any of those hard pieces get in there and it gets in my mouth, I usually end up having to take it out and throw it away. So I just went ahead and chunked it. Well, I mean, I really don't know anything else to say. Because I took time to stand there and pinch it all up, the whole cabbage head, into the pot. And I'm slow at everything I do. It took me quite a little while to do that. And that's all I've done. Once I got that pinched up, I stirred it up and then let it cook. Of course, I cut the camera off and um while it was cooking but then i came back on again to show y'all it was done and to taste it with you but this is gonna take a little while and i've already told you everything i've done and all i know to say so i don't know what else to talk to y'all about i'm so sorry i guess i could just be quiet and let y'all listen to me grumble I don't remember where all I'm grumbling at in the video, but I know I grumbled a couple of times about the same thing. <laughs> let's see, let's see, let's see. What can I talk about? Or what can I sing about? <laughs> Just pinch up cabbage and pinch up cabbage and pinch up cabbage and pinch up cabbage and put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Pinch up cabbage, pinch up cabbage and put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Pinch up cabbage, pinch up cabbage and put it in the pot. Put it in the pot. Ah, I don't know what else to say. I'm so sorry it took so long. I'm so sorry, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Alright, I guess since I told you this, let me tell you about what Elizabeth was doing. She was making some ornaments to go on her Christmas tree. She recently got her a Christmas tree nine foot tall. Lord, how must me. Well, you know, she has her own house course she's not in it yet they've been working like crazy on it and I know I made a video I see I told y'all I hoped I didn't jinx it but I think I did y'all I think it jinxed it 
because after I made that video and put it up, then Albert comes and tells me, well, I think we're going to have to put it off, and it's going to be a little bit longer on her house, so she's not going to get in it by Christmas. So anyway, um, but she got her a nine-foot Christmas tree to put in her house because her ceiling was real tall in her living room. And I even asked her, I said, are you still going to put the tree up even though you're not going to be able to get in it by Christmas? And she said, it'll be done enough. My living room will be done enough that I can put my Christmas tree up. Because she does when she has days off. Well, before she got sick, she did. There's a couple of days she'd go over there and just, you know, sit in her house and read. She loves to read. And even though it's not finished and she can't live in it and didn't have a cook kitchen to cook in or a bathroom she could use, she would go over there and sit in her living room and relax and read. So, I guess she can put a Christmas tree up. So, she got her a Christmas tree and she bought her, she found her a bunch of cheap ball ornaments. And they're different colors like red and gold, but she's got this old book. She loves to read. So she loves anything books. Oh lord. She's in the bathroom next door. She's going to hear me now. And she'll fuss because I'm telling, talking about her. <laughs> but uh, she loves to decorate with the book pages. So she used some of my glue and Mod Podge. And she is covering her Christmas tree balls with all them book pages. Looks pretty cute. Whoa. She ain't got them all done yet. She got tired of doing it because she has a slew of balls. So, she's still going to take time to have to work on them and cover them up if she plans on continuing it. She started kind of griping about it, saying, I'm going to have to rethink this. This is taking forever. <laughs> um, but that's what she was doing the whole time. I'm standing there pinching up cabbage and putting it in a pot. Pinching up cabbage and putting it in a pot. Pinching up cabbage and putting it in a pot. Oh, lordy, 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 baby. When would I be through? When would I be through? Oh, yeah, and it got up pretty high. I started wondering and thinking, oh, lord, is this pot big enough? Should I get a bigger pot? We got bigger pots, but they were dirty, and I didn't want to have to wash them, so... I made do. It got pretty high up there, but it cooked down and went down. It never did overflow or anything. So that's good. Come on, when will it be over? When will I have all the cabbage pinched up? Oh my word. Oh my word. <laughs> Still reaching for more. Still reaching for more. Goodness, that's a big piece. Ain't I through yet? Is this the last piece? Oh my goodness. Come on now. I am starting to enjoy all this cooking I'm doing and making the cooking videos it's probably the making of the videos of it that I like the most about the cooking if I just had to cook and didn't couldn't make videos of it I probably wouldn't like it as much <laughs> but anyway I used to never like to cook and since my husband was a cook and liked to cook and he didn't really like the kind of foods I cooked I just sat back and let him cook so but now I'm liking to cook. I cook, but he don't eat the things I cook. They still cook, so. But I'm enjoying cooking. <laughs> I still got several more recipes I plan on cooking and making, too. I can't wait to do the next one. Oh, it's going to be so fun. <laughs> it is something... Definitely different that I have never heard of, so never tried it. And I believe 
I mean, even the video I watched of it, she was, it was something new to her, and she was surprised about it, too. So, I kind of feel like that none of my subbies will know about it, either, and it will be a weird, odd thing and a surprise to y'all. So, that's one reason why I'm so excited to do it, and I can't wait to try it. Alright, I think I finally got all the cabbage in there, and I'm stirring it down under the water and trying to get it all mixed up in there good and then this is where i just have to leave it alone and let it set and boil and cook and i turn the camera off and um come back when it's done okay let's see what do i do um i think i uh I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I did that right there to let you up. Sit time. Just gotta sit and cook. <laughs> uh, even though I didn't have a watch on my. What happened? Why is it turned like that now? That's when I came back to it. It's bubbling and boiling real good. It went little on me. It turns sideways and went little. I hate when that happens. And I had, I kept my camera on my stand right there at the stove. I didn't, even though it wasn't turned on, I didn't move it or nothing, so it shouldn't have changed. Well, well, well. Whatever. Okay, so I'm, see, it's little. I can't hardly really see it, but I'm fixing to taste it now. Okay, I turn the camera to me. I'm going to tilt it up. getting some more on my spoon. Okay, I think that was just the broth and the cabbage right there. Lowering it off so I don't burn myself. I probably ended up burning myself anyway. <laughs> mm, it was good. I couldn't get that cabbage off the spoon. <laughs> mm. Yep, I'm just going to hit, yep, it's good, yep. I love it. <laughs> it's good. So now I'm getting either sausage or a carrot to try. That's what I'm going to do. I think it's going to be the carrot next. Let's see. <laughs> oh. So I got a piece yep. of the carrot. Yep, a piece of the carrot. Tell the way I was chewing it. Up. <coughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was good. It was good. So now we're going to do some of the sausage. Um, 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 there's a piece of sausage. Sausage, sausage, sausage. Um, hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Good. Yep. Hot. Yep. <laughs> but it was good. Thumbs up. Very good. I liked it. Love I it. loved it. Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now I should be saying I'm not a beer until next time I'm done. I'm going to the loo.